Hi, this is Narmada, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, KSO College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see about data structures about in Python Unit 3. So first, bubble sort in Python. The bubble sort uses a straightforward logic that works by repeating swapping the adjustment elements if they are not in the right order. It compares one pair at a time and swaps if the first element is greater than the second element. Otherwise, move further to the next pair of the elements for comparison. Then, selection sort in Python. In this algorithm, we select the smallest element from an unsorted array in each pass and swap with the beginning of the unsorted array. This process will continue until all the elements are placed at right place. It is simple and an in place comparison sorting algorithm. First step, uh, get the length of the array. Uh, length equal to length array 6. Second, uh, we first uh, set the first element as minimum element. Now compare the minim minimum within the second element. So uh, like, likewise this, the steps are continued. Then insertion sort, the array is built virtually in the two parts in the insertion sort. So there are two types, an unsorted part and sorted part. The sorted part contains the first element of the array and the other unsorted subpart contains the rest of the array. The first element in the unsorted array is compared to the sorted array so that we can place it into a proper subarray. So it focuses on inserting the elements by moving all elements if the right side value is smaller than the left side value. So it will repeatedly happen until all the elements has been inserted at the correct place. So likewise this sorting is takes place. Then merge sort in Python. So this is the best example for divide and conquer category of algorithms. So it divides the given list into two halves calls itself for the two halves and merges the two sorted half. So uh, we are dividing into two halves and only one uh, we get the only one element each. Then we combine the two elements and the sorting uh, two pairs. So by merging that you will get the merge sorting. Then quick sort. Quick sort algorithm works by partitioning an array into two subarrays, one containing elements less than a picked pivot element. So you have to select uh, one element which is called as pivot element. So based on the pivot element, uh, we have to extend the uh, sorting. So the algorithm then recursively sorts the subarrays by applying a similar cycle to each subarray. The recursion stops when a subarray has less than two elements. Then linear search. The linear search is a method of finding elements within a list. It is also called a sequential search. It is the simplest searching algorithm because it searches the desired element in a sequential manner. It compares each and every element with the value that we are searching for. So if both are matched, the element is found and the algorithm returns the keys index position. The next is the binary search in Python. In binary search algorithm, we can find the element position using the following methods. One is recursive method and another one is iterative method. So the divide and conquer approach technique is followed by the recursive method. So in this method, a function is called itself again and again until it found an element in the list. A set of statements is repeated multiple times to find an element's index position in the iterative method. The while loop is used for accomplish this task. So binary search is more effective than the linear search because we don't need to search each list index. The list must be sorted to achieve the binary search algorithm. The next is the hash function. Python hash function is used to get the hash value of an object. Python calculates the hash value by using the hash algorithm. So the hash values are integers and use it to compare dictionary keys during a dictionary lookup. So we can hash only these types. What are the hash? No, bool, int, long, float, string, unicode, tuple, code object. We cannot 
hash these objects means bit byte array list set dictionary and memory view we cannot hash these then signature parameters returns these are the hash objects then open addressing for collision handling open address is when all the keys are kept inside the hash table unlike separate chaining the hash table contains only the key information the methods for open addressing are linear probing quadratic probing and double hashing so load factors rehashing and efficiency operations such as insert search uh, work in the constant time complexity so rehashing is an essential concept in a hash map before we understand rehashing we must learn about load factoring so the load factoring is a measure of how full the hash table can get before its capacity must be increased the number of elements in hash table divided by the number of slots usually return alpha note the higher order the, the higher the load factor the slower is the retrieval rehashing is the process of recalculating the hash code of previously stored entries in order to shift them to a larger size hash sham when the threshold is reached or crossed so when the number of elements in a hash map reaches the maximum threshold value is rehashed so thank you